What's going on guys, welcome back. I hope you're having a great week. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about the grip and the question is, does the grip really matter? Okay, I hear a lot of people on social media talking about the grip matters. Well, in only one condition and here's what happens. When they're speaking about the grip out of context, it's teaching you something wrong. So I'm going to show you exactly when the grip matters. But before we get into that, I just kind of want to cover what's going on in the world, okay? I don't really care why it's happening. It's so deep, it's unreal. There's no way that we could figure it out. But I think we can all agree that even our country is slowly falling. And I cannot tell you how important it is for you guys to start preparing in your lives. It starts in your home. I'm not telling you to become a crazy prepper, and no offense to you guys who prep to that level, I respect that. I'm just telling you to be prepared, um, and one of the things I advocate for is armor. I've always advocated for it, so don't think I'm trying to take this as an opportunity to say, hey, you need armor. Okay, if you follow me for the last 15 years, I have been one of the most pro-armor guys for citizens in this industry. So even if you're not an armor guy, okay, I might just get a set of armor for my children or my grandchildren or whenever this pops off. Maybe I get a set of armor for trade and barter. Okay, if you think gold is worth this weight, it's gonna be water, food, ammunition, and armor. Those are gonna be the primary trading resources here in the US. And I can promise you this, Ammo, ammo is going to be on the black market and it's going to be coming from other countries. So check out Hardhead Veterans and Gadsden Dynamics and get you guys a ballistic helmet, a set of armor and plate carrier, okay? So as I said, a lot of people are going to tell you that the grip matters, the grip matters, okay? And they'll try to confuse this with a trigger jerk. Well, let me show you how important the grip really is, okay? Or isn't. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot this gun with two fingers, the trigger finger and the thumb wrap around the back strap or the beaver tail. These three fingers will stay outward. And I'm even going to add to that, let's get my body out of balance. I am not a good All right, so the question is, did I even have a real grip or what people classify as a grip? This is what we call a grip. So technically, when I shot with two fingers, it shouldn't have worked because the grip matters. This is nonsense, okay? There are three factors that determine if I can hit this target or not. Proper side alignment, proper trigger manipulation, and not changing my grip when I pull the trigger. If you think about it, as we use our hands, everything moves simultaneously. Not in unison, but simultaneously. Unless I'm picking up a needle, I'm drinking a little wine, doing something very intricate, then it changes. But for the most part, if I come in for a handshake, everything is at once. If I pick up a drink, everything is at once. So naturally, when we pull the trigger, this is what tends to happen, okay? So, if you'll come in just a little bit, I want you to watch the barrel. As a left-handed shooter, it's gonna to go to five o'clock, something like that, okay? As I change my grip while I'm pulling the trigger, I miss the target, okay? So what this means is I need to isolate the grip from the trigger pull, all right? So when people are telling you that grip matters, that is what they're saying. Like I said, a lot of people are trying to push off good information, but they're not putting it in context so it confuses you guys. And this is one of the reasons why as you go out and you try to apply what they're saying, you're not getting any better because what they're teaching you is not in context. So let's go over here and I'm gonna explain it to you a little bit further. A lot of times when people are showing you the shooting correction chart, they get these two mixed up, okay? The 6.30 to 7 o'clock is trigger jerk or trigger slap. Let me show you what that is, okay? And I'm gonna demonstrate this right-handed. A trigger jerk is when the finger is actually touching the trigger, and I'm going to slam this trigger to the rear, and what you're gonna see is the disruption of the barrel go to that 7 o'clock. 
see it dip down. That's a trigger jerk. A trigger slap is the same thing, but the finger is not touching. All right? It dips down to that 637 position. And what determines exactly where that goes, the closer it is to the point of aim, all right, the less of a trigger jerk or slap that you have. Same thing with tightening your hands while you pull the trigger. The reason why people can't pick this up is because it happens so fast. Once again, I'm gonna tighten everything at once and you're gonna see it go to that 7.30, 8 o'clock position. If we're talking about time, that has to do with what finger I'm putting more pressure in, okay? If I put more pressure into my middle finger, it's naturally gonna to wanna to impact in this area, like on this line right here. All right, if it's the ring finger, it's gonna to wanna to naturally impact somewhere along this line. If it's the pinky, it's naturally gonna to want to be lower, okay? So, one more time. I'm gonna grip the middle finger, All right, roughly right in here somewhere. I'm gonna grip the ring finger, a little bit lower, and then I'm gonna grip the pinky finger. Way lower, right? All right, so that's how that works. Um, here's the reality, and I know what I'm about ready to say is gonna upset a lot of people, but I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to teach you what's right and wrong. I have yet to see one of these instructors on YouTube or Instagram teach this shooting correction chart properly, okay? One of the reasons, like I said, why people can't grow is you have instructors out there not giving the proper information, enough information, they're teaching it out of context. So unless you start getting the truth from legit instructors, you're never going to improve on your training, okay? If that upsets you, go subscribe somewhere else. You guys have a great day and God bless.